Hey guys, it's Leanna and I'm here today to talk about book series that I really need to finish <laughs> or at least continue. So I think that's a pretty self-explanatory topic. Um, I've just been accumulating series and I started making a list and I was like, fuck, so many series that some of them I, I, I'm even really close to finishing and others I've like barely started and I'm like, God, I really need to get to it. So this video is kind of like me holding myself accountable by announcing to all y'all that I'm like, I really need to read these books so that I can remind myself that I really need to read these books. <laughs> so no particular order. These aren't like an order of priority or an order of like when I started them or anything like that. They're just the order that I wrote them down and as I thought of them. It's possible there are some series that I have started and that I have not officially decided to not continue that are not on this list because I didn't think of them. But uh, sorry if that's true. Kidoke you know, first on the list probably is actually top priority and that's the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb. I read The Assassin's Apprentice at the beginning of this year like in January and um, I own the next two books in paperback and I own like the special edition illustrated edition or whatever. Like I don't really have any excuse except for the fact that I did say I would vlog it. <laughs> that always sounds like a lot of like a lot to deal with. <laughs> when I want to pick up a book and also it seems like a cold weather read. It seems like something I should read in fall or winter by the fireside that I don't have <laughs> with cider that I don't like. <laughs> it just seems like that kind of a read. So I've been kind of putting it off on purpose-ish because like middle of summer when it was like 108 degrees reading that kind of traditional fantasy didn't seem right but we're into the season that I decided was the right season for it so I really got to get to it. The Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden that's I read The Bear and the Nightingale when it came out which at this point is like th more than three years ago almost almost four years ago oh Jesus so that's the main reason I haven't continued the series is because um, I did get the books as they came out came out but now it's been so long that I'm, I really need to reread The Bear and the Nightingale if I'm gonna keep reading because I I remember liking it and I remember vaguely the like earthy dark Russian vibes but I don't really remember anything that happens in it enough to be able to understand what's going on in the next two books. Uh, next is Lord of the Rings. I read again the beginning of this year The Fellowship of the Ring and have every intention of reading the rest of the trilogy. I just need to get around to it and I will at some point but it's kind of like up there with Farseer trilogy it's in that vein of books that I just feel like are better in like very traditional fantasy seems to me to be something that I should read when it's cold or gloomy or at least this time of year where it ought to be cold and gloomy even if it isn't cold and gloomy where I live. <laughs> Next is Ryuria Chronicles and Ryuria Revelations. I guess Ryuria Revelations is first and then Ryuria Chronicles by um Michael J. Sullivan. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. I read Theft of Swords like three years ago, but I did more recently because the the Rayuria Revelations books are each bind ups of two, so it's really like six books instead of three. So I read the first book in the second book <laughs> earlier this year. So the second bind up is called Rise of Empire, but the first book in Rise of Empire is um, Nifron Rising, and I read Nifron Rising earlier this year. I just need to read the other book, which is like Emerald something. And then the third bind up. I own like 50 Michael J. Sullivan books. I own them all. So there's again, no excuse. I need to just fucking read them. And next is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I read the first book, Truly Devious, again earlier this year, um, but more recently. And I did put the second book, The Vanishing Stare, on my TBR for this month. So that should be happening in short order if I actually get to it as intended. I guess we shall see if I really do it or not. But I, I started that series, so better get... And that's because it's a, a murder mystery whodunit type thing. So it's the kind of thing where like I really need to read them pretty close together because it's... I really can't afford to forget <laughs> the clues that have been told to me. Next on my list is The Remnant Chronicles by Mary Pearson. I read the first book I, I think at like the beginning of last year and I quite liked it um, and I've owned all three books for a, a long time so I just need to do it. It's one of those backlist YA fantasy romance type trilogies that everyone and their mother had read when I started booktube and so I got it because I was like everyone's read this I need to have read it too. And then everyone's just kind of slowly moved on to newer releases and it's just been sitting there collecting dust. I did really like the first book. I found it quite original and, and interesting, the concept. That concept isn't carried through the other two books because it can't be anymore. The concept being that the there's three main characters and three POVs and two of the dudes, there's two dudes and a girl, 
And one of them is trying to kill her and one of them is trying to marry her and you don't know which is which and she doesn't know which is which. And even though, even though the story is told with three perspectives, you don't know even when you're in the perspectives of the dudes, which dude is which until the end of the book or not quite the end. It's like, I want to say like two thirds of the way through the book that you finally find out which dude is which, which is just such a cool concept. Like I've never seen that done before and I've never seen it done since. It's really interesting. But so obviously like by the end of the first book, you know which is which. So the two books after it are just traditional telling the story without that added element of like, which is which. <laughs> but they were good though. Like, so I, I, or it was good. So I would like to finish the trilogy. Next, I have The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. I'm not aware of the, an actual series name, but the first book is The Ruin of Kings. The second book, which I have, but I haven't read is The Name of All Things. And then the third book is something to do with memory. I don't, it's out, but I don't have it. Um, That book, uh, yeah, the first book, The Ruin of Kings, was pretty good for a debut, but I thought it was told in a way that was needlessly confusing, like in intentionally confusing, just to like make it kind of like a gimmick almost. Um, so it kind of, I found it frustrating and annoying for that reason, because it wasn't confusing because it's del doing some deep concepts. It's just like told in a way that's like intentionally confusing. <laughs> So I was kind of frustrated with it, but like overall it was pretty decent and I enjoyed it. So, and I own the second one, so I'll, I'll get to it. Next is The Chronicles of Prydain by Lloyd Alexander. This is a very new addition to my list because I just read The Book of Three like last month and I've owned the, all the Chronicles of Prydain for quite some time. So it's a series that I've been meaning to get to and now it's a series that I'm gonna, going to be meaning to finish for some time because that's how this works. <laughs> Next on my list is The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. I read The Diabolic back when it first came out and it was a standalone then. Then I read the sequel when it came out and it was going to be now a trilogy. And now I've been waiting for forever for the third one to come out and it did just come out. And I, for like, well, two months leading up to it, I kept putting the first and second books on my TBR as rereads, hoping to prepare for the release of this third one, but I didn't get to them. And I can't decide now if I want to reread the first two books or not, for sure. Or if I can just dive into the third one, I do think I need to reread them. So I need to find time to, to reread the series and finally read the third one. Next on my list is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. These books, again, I read The Bone Season and The Mime Order years, like probably three years ago. And I've owned the third book for a while, but I knew that there, there was no publishing, no published date announced no release date announced for the next book and that it was going to be a seven book series. So I felt no urgency to read the th third book, even though I owned it. And now it's been so long that I probably need to reread The Bone Season and The Mime Order before reading the third one, because the fourth one is now coming out. Uh, there's a release date now and a cover and everything. So it's time to rediscover The Bone Season. <laughs> next is the uh, Jacoby series, which again, the first book is called Jacoby, but I think the series is also called Jacoby, which is just like a fun historical fiction spooky paranormal thing. It was kind of like Doctor Who meets Sherlock. <laughs> and I really enjoy the first two books and I own all four. I just need to get to them. The The second book was considerably less fun than the first book, which I'd heard. Uh, people warned me that the second book isn't as good, but the third and fourth aren't good again. So just uh, after reading the second one, I was just like, eh, <laughs> like lost steam, but I need to get back to it. Next is Scythe by Neil Shusterman. I read Scythe quite a while ago. And then I've owned Thunderhead for quite a while. And now the third book has been released like a few months ago, maybe even longer. Maybe it's been like a year where, I mean, this year has just gone by so quickly and so slowly that I don't even know what time is anymore. But The Toll is the third book. I don't own that one, but I still need to read fucking Thunderhead. So I don't think I need to reread Side before reading Thunderhead. That's still fresh enough in my brain. So I just need to do it. Next is Shatter Me by Tehede Mafi. That I've read quite recently and I read Defy Me, which is the fifth book in the series earlier this year. Um, I just need to finish reading the novella that comes between Defy Me and Imagine Me and then finally read Imagine Me. I just heard such bad things about Imagine Me when it came out. Finally, people like who read it immediately were like, oh, not a good ending. So like, I'm kind of like, I still like Shatter Me. I liked Defy Me. I didn't like Defy Me as much as I liked Restore Me, but I enjoyed Defy Me. And I'm just like worried about leaving Shatter Me with a bad taste in my mouth. Like right now, I'm still in a happy place with Shatter Me. <laughs> so I'm kind of purposely not reading it, but at some point I'll read it. Next on my list is The Chronicles of the Bitch Queen by K.S. Vioso. I read the first book because um, I hosted a panel on my channel during the Social Distance Book Fest about speculative fiction. And so she was one of the authors on the panel. So I read the first book, The Wolf of Orin Yaro, uh, before the panel. And now the second book is, it's either about to come out or it did just come out, uh, The Issachar Falcon. 
so I want to read it because I really did enjoy The Wolf of Warren Yarrow and I would like to read the next book closer to having read the first one so it doesn't end up being like all these other series I've mentioned where it's been like a century since I read the first one. And last on my list is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang, um, which again, um, I have The Dragon Republic on my TBR for this month. I, I kind of think I might be needing to reread The Poppy War because it's been a while I read The Poppy War when it came out. I'm gonna try to read The Dragon Republic. <laughs> we'll see. If I need to, I'll put it down and I'll reread The Poppy War. But I would like to have finished The Dragon Republic before the third and final book, The Burning God, comes out, which is this year. I think uh, next month or, or the month after. It's, um, it's a great grimdark. His Chinese history inspired fantasy that I really enjoyed the first one. And I need to fucking read. <laughs> so, so let me know in the comments down below if you like me are in the middle of a billion series, if you're in the middle of any of the series that I listed today, if you're starting any of the series that I listed today, if you finished any of the series that I listed today. <laughs> <laughs> let me know all the things. I post videos on Saturdays and also at other random times, but definitely Saturdays. So like and subscribe and I'll see you when I see you.